Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Wednesday nights are time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes from our area and thank them for their service. Tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Navy veteran George Kern. Serving over two decades with the Navy, CB George Kern built bridges, schools, and more here at home and overseas in Vietnam. With the draft in full swing, George had a unique opportunity to show off skills he'd already developed now with the Navy. If I could verify two or more years experience in a construction field, they would bring me in as an E4 versus coming in as E1. And I had the experience as an operator. My dad said, you're crazy if you don't do it. So I went up, went through the process and everything, and recruiter told me before I signed, he said, if you do this, you're going to Vietnam. I said, well, I figured I was going anyways. I just pick who I'm going with. With his background in operating loaders, backhoes, dump trucks, and more, joining the Seabees was a no-brainer. We resurfaced high roads, built roads, uh, worked on a couple of bridges, finished those up. Uh, we were helping their infrastructure, basically. We were putting up buildings, which a lot were for the military, but we had the CB team that went out and they built clinics or schools for the locals. And I just thought, okay, we're doing a good thing here. Working wherever need be, sent the CB all over Vietnam. Liberty Bridge, it was pretty much done when we got there. We took over from another battalion. Our battalion sent a crew out, they finished it. And then we went out with the trucks, we asphalted the bridge. Uh, that felt good, we got that job done. Lanco Bridge, I had started on that project, building the ramps for the temporary pontoon bridge. Got pulled off of that and sent up north. Rebuilding up around the exchange, cleaning all the mess up. There, not one that actually sticks out. There was just, like I say, okay, this is where we need you today. There you go. One of the moments that did stick out to George happened while he was a part of a security platoon. We got hit with rockets one night. And we figured this bunker could take anything but a direct hit from a rocket. Well, when the sun came up the next morning and I looked over my shoulder and the back corner of the bunker is laying out on the ground and I kind of growled, yeah, I know what I got to do. I got to build this back today. I almost got killed that night and the only thing that bothered me was I got to build this back up again. About a decade after his active time with the military came to an end, George rejoined the service in the Navy Reserves. He'd take on more of a leadership position as a crew leader, working on projects at a California Naval Air Station and in Arizona. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. We highlight veterans in our community every week, just like George. So if you know someone we could feature in this segment, please check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. Plus, sharing their story isn't the only way we honor these heroes, because each week, the featured vet receives a gift. Take a look. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, George Kern, who served our country in the United States Navy and was a CB. Thank you so much for your service, sir. Thank you for honoring me and the CB. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.